Hey y'all, it's Tammy, and today we're making homemade lemon bars. That's really good, y'all. All fresh ingredients, no cake mix. Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks. I listened to one of your requests and today we're going to make a yummy lemon bar. So these bars are old fashioned. They are not using a cake mix like a lot of y'all use today. They are going to be from homemade and they're going to be delicious and they're still easy. The original recipe said that they were best eaten the day of, but I'm going to change that a little. Put in an egg so they stay softer on the bottom and not like a biscuit. We're going to start out with a half cup of butter at room temperature. I just happen to have some already softened, so that's why I don't have it in a stick like I normally do. All right, we're going to add a quarter cup of powdered sugar. right quick and we're going to get some lemon zest and I like a lot so you can um, use a lot or a little but I'm going to zest at least a couple of lemons make sure when you're zesting your lemon that you do not get down into the white part just barely grate the top off okay and I'm using bigger pieces of zest in this because I really love the taste of it. If you don't want larger pieces, then use a smaller zester like the microplane. This really tiny one. Okay, this is the smaller pieces. You can see how tiny they are. scrape this off of your mixer and I'm going to spray this a little bit the ovens at 350 degrees and we're going to get this in our pan you're just going to use a brownie pan whether it's square or rectangular that's up to you just use a nice size brownie pan and we're going to get this um, in the oven and we're going to bake it for 20 minutes so it's a soft uh, mixture, so I'm just going to use a spatula and kind of spread it around. If you don't have a spatula, you need to get you one. Um, they're nice to have in the kitchen for stuff like this. You always want to put your pointer on the spatula and press down towards in, the, in a pointed direction and not a flat direction. Look, we can see the bottom of the pan right here, so let's scrape a little of the extra off in the other places and put it down here. All right. Twenty minutes. So that can cook while you're making 
the filling. Now we're making the filling. It's going to be really easy. So it's going to be two eggs. We're going to do a cup of sugar. A half. And a cup. Two tablespoons of flour. We're going to use lemon zest. So we're just going to put some zest in here. I'm going to do the zest of a just about a whole lemon. Remember to zest your lemon before you squeeze it. It's so much easier. I've made that mistake before. All right, now we're going to cut our lemon in half. I also cut the little nub off of it before I put it in my squeezer, and I'm going to cut it in half. Now, quite a few of y'all, quite a few of y'all got on to me for the way I squeezed the lemons when I did the lemon ice box. Let me say this, the manufacturer's directions tell you not to squeeze the lemon in this direction like you would have in an old-fashioned squeezer but you're actually supposed to put it in this direction. You're supposed to actually do it this direction because it turns the lemon inside out and keeps the seeds from falling out. So, for those of y'all that think you know how to use a lemon squeezer, if you're not using it this direction, then you really don't know how to use a lemon squeezer. So, here we go. Just watch how it works. It presses it inside out. And the seeds do not escape. All right, we're gonna squeeze the rest of our lemon juice in here. And we're just gonna mix this together very well. So I'm using a wire whisk. Nice and yellow. So you're going to want to beat it pretty good. If you want to use an electric mixer, you can. All right. Now we're just going to pour that over our crust. All right, we've got out our crust. And you can tell it's starting to brown just a little around the edges. But now this is going to bake another 25 minutes. Make sure you mix it fresh before you pour it over the top. All right, we're gonna get it in the oven and bake it another 25 minutes. So let's go ahead and turn the timer on. 25 start, and we'll see y'all in 25 minutes. Now you're gonna let them sit out and cool all the way down before we cut them. I'm just going to sprinkle a little powdered sugar on the top of these. And you can do that while it's still hot if you want to. But I waited till mine cooled down some. Let's give this a taste, y'all. You can see it looks nice and gelled. It looks delicious. See if it's tart enough. Mmm. That's really good, y'all. All fresh ingredients, no cake mix. We used the zest off two lemons. I think what would be good, because we only squeezed one lemon in it, is just to take a lemon and, and sprinkle over the top of 
oven before you eat them. I'm going to take a lemon and this is um, a skewer. I'm going to put a hole in it and, and I'm going to squeeze the juice on top of these bars. I was sitting in here tonight. I haven't shown y'all this yet. I came in here and got a bite and I was like, that's just got to have a little more lemon on it. Mmm. And when you put that on the top, now that's the lemon bar I want you to make. So don't forget, get an extra lemon to squeeze on the top. Whoever recommended me make some lemon bars, thank you. Me and Chris are going to enjoy them today. Thanks for watching Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did.